Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video for you guys that was requested from someone in the comment section. Um, someone in the comment section asked me to do, well actually it's been a couple of you guys in the comment section asking me to do a um, like an edges routine of how to get thicker edges or this can also work for people who want to grow back their edges. Now I have a few videos on my channel telling you guys about edges and how to grow back your edges but this routine is going to be more so if you're like in a rush you don't feel like you know doing all the diy thing and you just want to put something on your edges to help them grow and be out the door i'm currently about to be out the door so i decided to do it for you guys show you guys a routine i used to have super thin edges back when i used to wear a lot of ponytails and when i started to do this to my edges and this was like in the beginning of me going natural it helped them to grow back also i'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of my routine for my face it's not going to be a skincare routine but a lot of people have been asking me especially new people that have been coming to my channel have been asking me how i keep my skin so clear and looking so nice and how do i keep my face looking so nice without wearing makeup so i wanted to share you with you guys a super quick routine as well of how to like prep your face to look good so this video is going to be full of information for you guys because i've been trying to get through all the requests that you guys have been commenting by the way thank you guys so much for your comments that you have been posting i've been reading them and we do have a sponsor for this video today this video is sponsored by anna louise jewelry company um you guys have heard about this company on my channel before i've told you about this company and they have sustained sustainable jewelry pieces i'm wearing two of their necklaces today and i'm also wearing their earrings and i will show you guys close-ups as well their sustainable mission that they have with their company actually is what pushed me to want to even check out this company as you guys see i have on two of the necklaces right now um you can style these any way that you like but i'm actually wearing like a very basic top today so i decided to put on two of their um, necklaces both of the necklaces i received which one is a moon symbol whereas the other one is my birthstone so they do have birthstone necklaces and they do have a lot of pieces that are um have meaning behind them so i like that as well also love the fact that they have luxury pieces that start off at 39 dollars and they even go up to the more higher end pieces but from what I've seen on their website, it is something for everyone, no matter what price point you're at. They are also running an exclusive Black Friday sale, which is awesome. So I'll have that link for you guys down below. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with my face. So I'm gonna put my hair back and then once I get done showing you guys my quick routine for my face, I am going to then show you guys what I do for my um, edges. Okay, so the first product that I'm gonna be taking is, this is a Nourish by Shantae Silk Hydrate Drops 3-in-1 Soothing Toner. So this is infused with calendula flower and I like to use this on my face um, so that I'm able to hydrate my face because your skin needs to be hydrated just like your hair. So I like to hydrate my face and um, that keeps it a lot more awake so these are drops i would normally have a cotton ball but i don't have one here so this is a three-in-one toner so you can actually use it for so many different things but i'm just going to put it all the way down on my neck and once I put that on, I like to go in with a moisturizer and I'm using today the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Moisturizer. So you guys are going to see why I'm using the oil-free moisturizer in just a minute, but I just go ahead and put a few dabs of that on my face. And this moisturizer is so well formulated. Love it so much. So once I put my moisturizer on, which a moisturizer is also super important to your skin, just so that you're not dry and crusty when you don't have on makeup and you go out and you're not 
moisturize it just makes your skin look dull and like you didn't do much to put yourself together so that is one thing that i always make sure that i put on my face so now that i put my hydrator on and my moisturizer on i'm now going to go underneath my eyes with a um ice eye cream and this is from pharmacy this is the brightening vitamin c eye cream um and i've been trying this out actually i've been trying this out for um a couple of, of months now and it's been working really well and this makes sure that you don't have any darkness around your eyes and also helps with bags underneath your eyes as well oh my gosh i forgot a really important part of my routine before I do all of this, the first thing I do is I take this jade roller, thrown off, thrown off by um, filming, but I take this jade roller, which I keep in the freezer, and it's super cold, and this helps with your bags as well. It helps bring down the puffiness of your face, especially when you first wake up. So you would just take this, and you would just roll it over your face, and it's super cold. You want it to be cold. So this will be the first thing you do before you put on your moisturizer and any of the products that you see me put on. Normally I do this first, but it doesn't really matter that much, but you wanna do this for about 10 minutes. This is a more natural way to bring down puffiness. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this side and I'm going to go underneath my eyes and this really makes sure that your puffiness goes down if you have any type of puffiness. I do this routine very often, so my puffiness has went down. That's the great thing about this routine. Um, since it's an all natural routine, it's going to work for longevity. So you don't have to like, I mean, you wanna do it often, but you once you start doing it, it's going to start giving your skin a really good effect. Okay, so once you're done with all of that, um, you're going to then take a actual oil now normally people can use like those glow pads which is like they have like tint in them and like spf and all that in it um which a lot of people use for their skin to have that glowy look normally those have um ingredients that i don't like in them so i'm actually going to be using the nourish by chante glow oil and this is a rose botanica infused oil that is amazing and I'm gonna put that on my face and that's gonna seal in everything that I just did to my face. And as you guys notice, this is a layering process just like your hair. So your skin needs to be layered as well. You don't wanna just put on a hydrator and then just go because that's not going to give you that lasting moisturized look okay so that is so that is the last step for my face now i'm gonna move on to my eyebrows so i'm just going to brush these up and this is going to create like an arch look on my eyebrows so normally people would use like a, a eyebrow wax or whatever to make them stay up I don't really like that, so I'm just going to brush mine up. I've never had anything done to my eyebrows, so I like to keep them very natural. So I have this lip scrub. I'm not gonna use it today, but this lip scrubs are really good for keeping your lips nice and smooth so that you don't have dead skin. <laughs> you know, My friend told me that she put my growth oil on her um, lashes and they made them her lashes grow really, really well. So I've been doing that every since so i'm gonna take my i just took my nourish by chante growth oil and i dab just a drop on this mascara um brush and this is just a mascara brush that i bought from um the store it's not it doesn't go into any type of mascara i just use it for my eyebrows um do not overuse it just put one drop of the oil on to the um eyelash brush and that will work one thing I want to mention is the Rooted, by, Rooted Treasure um, 
Jamaican black castor oil. You, you can use it on your eyelashes if you like, but it is very thick and you cannot go around, walk around all day with this. So this is just a treatment. If you want to put it on your eyelashes for an actual treatment and then wipe it off, that's fine. But I've tried to put it on my eyelashes and walk around with it all day and no, that didn't work. And that's that. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, lips. For my lips, I use this here. This is a the EOS lip treatment. Um, I change my lip care pretty often, so I don't stick to one thing, but this time around, I'm using this treatment, and this is just a treatment to make sure that your lips do not crack. After I put my lip treatment on, I go in with the EOS lip balm, and that is my quick routine for my skin, um, to prep my skin for the day. So for the person who requested that or the people who requested that, because a lot of people were asking me like, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to um, my edges. So I'm going to show you guys a quick way to do this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of part your hair like this. And then you're going to take the Nourish by Chante growth oil or some type of growth oil. Um, some type of oil that's geared towards growth. You can also use the Rooted Treasures Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I use that on my edges as well. I'm gonna dab it on my scalp. And we're gonna get to the actual, we're gonna work our way to the actual edges in a minute, but you wanna make sure this area is grown in as well because a lot of times your edges, you know, they grow from your roots. So you wanna make sure that everything like up here is grown. Put that on there as on your scalp in the front. Just focus on the front of your hair. And then now I just, normally what I do is I take and I start to focus on the edges. Make sure that you massage them the oil into your roots and into the edges. Make sure you put the oil like more up towards your hair so that it doesn't roll onto your face. I'm gonna get the nape area of my hair because a lot of times people forget about the nape area, but when you wear ponytails, that area gets pulled as well. So I just literally take the oil and put a little bit back there. Okay, so that is what I do to my edges. You can also spray water before you actually put the oil on. If you haven't moisturized your edges, you want to make sure that your edges are moisturized because that's also gonna help your edges to grow. I sprayed water on my hair earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray some more because I just kind of like frizzed it up by rubbing my hair so much, so. Also, want to let you guys know that when you are trying to grow out your edges, make sure that you are watchful of what type of products you're putting on your edges. So, if your edges are not growing, do not use products that are not healthy for your hair. Don't use products that are, you know, not really having your health, your hair health in mind when they're creating their formulas, because it's just gonna contradict everything that you're wanting. Make sure that you're mindful of what you're putting on your edges and on your hair. Okay, so I just did that to my hair. Like I said, um, growing back your edges is not as complicated as I think people kind of make it seem. You just need to make sure that you're consistent with your routines and using um, things things as simple as plants and um, herbs on your edges will help them to grow. Um, all you have to do is just be very consistent with what you're doing and make sure that your actual 
daily routine as far as eating well and just living healthier in your everyday life all around that's gonna help as well because Warian does first attack the edges I've noticed Warian um, also pulling your hair in ponytails also not eating the right nutrition or receiving the right vitamins in your meals can definitely um, alter your hair growth want to make sure that you keep those things up as well also if you guys would like for me to do a video on kind of like a eating routine for hair growth because I've seen so many people request that but I just wasn't sure if a majority of the people wanted to see that or not and so if you want to see that leave a comment down below and let me know as well okay guys so that was the video I know this was a pretty jam-packed video but I wanted to get multiple requests into this video so that um, I can get a lot of the requested videos that you guys are wanting so this was a fun video to film so hopefully you guys liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and I'm just so amazed by the constant support that I've been getting lately on my channel and all the new people and all the older people who are kind of helping me out in the comment section I'm just very very happy that <laughs> I was able to come back to YouTube and start my um, YouTube videos again and you guys be this receptive. So like I said, thank you guys so much and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.